Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and today we have a battle between the Federation and itself. So four of the Federation's newest Excelsior-class ships from the motion picture era have gone missing, and it appears they're on course for Kronos, the Klingon homeworld, uh, where they're probably going to launch a strike. And the Federation has sent eight starships after them. So if we go to our fleets, we have, in the Allies' side, we have four Constitution-class refits, three Miranda refits, then the one Constitution-class you see right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, the enemy side has the four Excelsior-class ships and two Section 31 Star League-class vessels. So I think Section 31 is behind this. Maybe they're trying to strike against the Klingons before they become an even more dangerous potential threat in the future. But it's our job to stop them if we are to have ever have peace in the future. So we need to catch up with those Excelsiors and take them out. Now this is before there was a real peace treaty between the Federation and the Klingons. I don't believe that that peace really came about until after the Enterprise C was destroyed at the Battle of Narendra III against the Romulans. That's what really sparked the Klingons' push for peace, or at least got uh, the Federation and Klingon Empire to talk to one another. But right now we have to try to protect the Klingons, because for some reason there are no Klingons here. There is Kronos right there. We have our fleet right here. And I'm going to put full power to the shields, and I'm going to warp to the shields. under above them. I'm going to warp above them. Take us into war. Shields. Okay, that's got them distracted. They're turning around. Getting to one half speed. Our fleet has just arrived. Let's come on. Give me warp speed again. Full power to shields. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. The shields are falling. Alright, all hands to escape pods. That's the power of the Excelsior class. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. The thing with the Excelsior class is their phasers fire for a very long duration. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. Oh no, this is the Enterprise. All hands abandon ship. I repeat, abandon ship. This is Enterprise. The shields are falling. Let's target that Star League. Or with this one, I guess. Torpedo is out. Okay, we have to warp now. Not my How many ships are left? We have one on the way and one is dead in space. Okay, that is the USS Constitution, and the ship that is stuck back there is the Lexington. Engage. The core is overloading. We're losing containment. Lock phasers. Okay, the Star League is damaged. Oh no. Those Excelsiors are too powerful. I'm gonna try to shoot at least one of them. But I don't think I'll even be able, able to get their shields down. Never mind, their shields just went down. I think they were hit by an explosion. Captain, 
integrity is severely compromised. We the last one, we are the last one. Let's exchange torpedoes, starboard the cell, and just decided to take a vacation. Weapon system damage. Captain sensors are severely impaired. Prepare to evacuate the ship. We are in trouble. So, let's uh, look at the score here. We lost everything, and they still have all four Excelsiors, and they lost one Star League class. And that is it. Well, eight Federation starships were not enough. How about we send an even larger fleet? Maybe we had reinforcements on the way, so I will return with reinforcements. Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned, this time with Federation reinforcements, another eight Federation starships are on the way, and this time I've removed the one vessel we destroyed from the enemy team, so now they only have one Star League Section 31 vessel, and the four Excelsior class ships. And now, in our fleet, we have some of my favorite ships from the motion picture era, at least in Star Trek Legacy, and those would be Proxima class refits. We have four Proxima class refits in total, including the one you see here. Uh, one Curry class vessel, one Constitution class refit, and two Star Stalker class ships, which are very cool looking. They're a combination of, yeah, they're, they're right here. They're sort of a combination between, actually they're exactly a combination between the Miranda class refit and the Constitution class. So hopefully we win. That, that is my goal. So let us engage. Oh yeah, look at those. These are a really cool ship. May I suggest we arm our weapons and raise shields now? Oh, they're so cool. Okay, where are they? Over there. Full power to shields? All power to the shields. Aye, sir. There could be, I don't know. Several thousand people on board this ship. I'm not sure what their crew complement was. But with two secondary hulls, a gigantic saucer, that giant bridge in between, who knows? Okay, there's the Kelly, engaging with phasers. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. We've lost shields, full power to weapons, how about that? Transfer all power to weapons. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. We've lost our starboard nacelles, both of them. We have four in total. Aft torpedoes have launched. Kelly's taken quite a hit, but so have we. Let's actually warp. Let's get our fleet out of this mess. There's the Curry class way back there. Oh no, we are we are losing ships left and right, it seems. Again. Okay, that's the ship we want to target. Come on, let's turn. Oh, we got it. Okay. Next target is the Roosevelt. We just lost one of our Proxima class refits. Our weapons are offline. I don't know how long she can take it. There goes another Proxima class refit. Let's warp up a little bit. Full power to shields. Full power to shields. Oh, are we down to our last? Go down to our very last uh, Proxima class here. We won't have it for long. What? Okay. That is cheating. Whatever just happened doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, this has those long duration phasers too. Same phasers that are on the Excelsior. Problem is we have an Excelsior shooting at us. Oh, that thing is still alive. Prepare to evacuate the ship. Constitution standing by. 
I really thought the Proxima class refit would be able to take on these Excelsiors. Um, but that assumption was false. That is exactly what did not happen. Oh wait, we may take one out. Come on. One more hit. Two more hits. Here we go, Excelsior class destroyed and they're flying right into the explosion. But they were dead anyway. Full power to shield has lasted as long as we can, but yeah, our shield just collapsed. Full power to weapons. Oh my goodness, what a cloud of explosion-y stuff that is. And that is it. We lost 16 Federation starships to four Excelsiors and two Star League class vessels. So that battle took five minutes. We lost all of our ships. We killed one thing. We were able to destroy one of the Excelsiors. Um, but it was not enough, so who knows what's going to happen to Klingons now. Maybe their homeworld capital was destroyed. Maybe their fleet warped in, in time. Maybe that'll be the next Star Trek Legacy video. Maybe the Klingons will show up and try to help out. But for the moment, it seems that the Federation has lost quite a lot of their manpower and resources, and, at least in Star Trek Legacy with the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 version, the motion picture... Era Excelsior is the best ship for the motion picture era. Hands down. It's phenomenal. So if you guys enjoyed this series of battles between the Federation and the less loyal Federation, then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there's always more Star Trek Legacy on this channel. Except I think the next video I will do will be... The next episode in the Star Trek Armada 3 campaign against the Romulan Star Empire, so don't miss that. I'm not sure when I'm going to release it. It might be another week. It might be a few days. I haven't recorded it yet. I haven't even given much thought to recording it yet, but I'm thinking about it now, and so it'll be the next video that comes out. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy this video, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when you watch them. And if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario like this one, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section with regards to that. And I will read through all my various ideas and suggestions, and I will do my best to use your recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. I hope that you guys are all having a phenomenally wonderful day, and I will see you next time. <laughs>